Hi folks, welcome to the shop. Today I want to talk about the Cronova 890Z True RMS Multimeter. Um, I already have a clamp meter that works great, um, but my probe meter that I have, um, it's very old, it's not auto ranging, so I'd heard about a fluke multimeter that was inexpensive. I went to check it out on Amazon, and when I did, I did a quick search on Amazon just for multimeter, <clears throat> and then I sorted those, that search by average customer reviews. And this guy popped up, the Cronova 890Z True RMS Multimeter. It was about $35. And that's what really caught my attention. I thought, how can you have a True RMS meter that's ranked ahead of Fluke meters uh, in the customer reviews, and it's only $35, bucks, or around $35. So today I searched again, and of course now it ranks, I think, number four in customer reviews with three Fluke meters above it. Um, so I just wanted to run through it real quick. Um, the multimeter has, uh, of course, it's auto-ranging. Um, it has a nice hard rubberized or soft rubberized case that goes around the, the uh, actual multimeter. Uh, nice little case that includes a probe storage in the back. Um, you see the probes mount nicely there in the back, right? Um, but just an excellent little multimeter. Uh, the display is nice and large. Uh, it includes a backlight. You just hold down this button here and you get a backlight for the display, nice and bright. Um, it also has a work light. If you hold down the other button, it will turn on a light in the back of the unit so you get some light uh, in a dark space where you're trying to use a multimeter, so very, very handy there. Um, the meter has uh, two fuses, um, both of which are right, very handy because they're right in the battery compartment. Um, you just have one screw to unhook the battery compartment and you have uh, two, two fuses here. One's a glass fuse for the 600 milliamp fuse and a ceramic fuse for the 10 amp fuse. Um, but uh, just running through the features real quick, uh, uh, of course it does millivolts and AC, uh, voltage AC, voltage DC, um, ohms, capacitance, resistance. Uh, it also has a Hertz setting. If you're on voltage AC and you were to hold down well, actually, I think you just tap this button. You can see there, let me get the backlight on, right? You can see it switches on the Hertz setting. Right, there's Hertz. Uh, but at the same time, this meter has a, uh, I'm not sure why, but on the dial, they have a Hertz setting as well. Maybe it applies to something else. Um, but it seems like to me, it'd be nice to not have it there just to make the device a little simpler to use. Um, it tests, of course, uh, uh, for temperature, uh, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Um, has a separate set of probes for that. Um, Non-contact voltage tester is in here as well. And I can just show you that real quick. The, uh, you just set to that setting for non-contact and you right here on the, this black dot on the top is what probes for that. So if you're you know, testing for current or the presence of current, you can see it beeps, red, a red light comes on as well, or, or bleeps on. Um, so that works very well. It's very handy to have. Um, Non-contact, let's see, or the, or the continuity test. Let me just switch to that real quick so you can get a feel for that's like. See the red light comes on. It's a nice loud beep that you can hear uh, very easily. Um, it also has an integrated kickstand in the back. So you can set this guy up on your workbench. Very, very handy to have. Um, yeah, so all in all, you know, quite a nice meter. What else comes in the box? Let's look at that real quick. Uh, it comes with a set of alligator clips right here. You can see for, you know, so it has the probes, of course, but also has these alligator clips, very handy. Um, as I mentioned earlier, it has the probes for uh, testing temperature. Um, it also comes with a, a hard shell case, right? Um, case has some room for storage on this side, a band to hold the multimeter on this side, uh, zips up. Very nice case. Uh, you know, typically a case would cost you maybe ten or fifteen dollars uh, if you were to buy it separately for your multimeter. So, really impressed with this multimeter. Of course, I have more testing to do on it, um, but uh, I've been very, uh, very impressed for what you get for the price. Um, you know, almost hard to believe, right? But, but uh, so far, you know, based on the customer reviews I've seen and, and my experience with it, it it's looking like it's going to live up to uh, the potential. So it's great to have, you know, for an extra multimeter. Uh, uh, depending on how often you use it, uh, uh, it comes in very handy to uh, have such a nice meter for the price. Um, again, that's the Cronova 890Z Multimeter 
uh, that's uh, currently on Amazon. Anyhow, thanks for joining us today, folks. Appreciate it.